Hey cabin friends, hang out with us by subscribing and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Welcome back to Kids Cabin, Cabin Friends. Uh, it's another Yum Box edition that we're going to be recording today. And uh, today's, uh, we, it gave us a clue last, in our last episode, if you recall, it was a clue that had something to do with uh, lights at night or something like that. And we couldn't really figure it out. We had a couple of guesses, but actually they changed it up on us. They ended up sending us a box that was not the box they gave us a clue for last time. Uh, and it's not difficult for us to assume where this particular box came from because uh, who's on this box here? Sai. DJ? Sai. Uh, it says uh, on the sticker, it says a place with Gangnam style and it has a picture of Sai dancing. So we absolutely assumed that this box was from South Korea. We did take a sneak peek inside and in fact it is from South Korea, right? Clark the Shark? Uh -huh. So we're going to try some South Korean um, Yum Box treats. Uh, so all various things from South Korea. So we're going to welcome in uh, our guest again today. It's This is Dibby Dip. Dibby Dip, why don't you come on in here? Oh. Dibby Dip is uh, named so after the, it's a popular hand, uh, South Korean hand game uh, called Dibby Dibby Dip. So we've, we're calling him uh, Dibby Dip and we are going to uh, open up the Yum Box and see what's in here today. So uh, Dibby Dip, do you want to open that Yum Box up and let's see, let's see what we have inside there. Clark the Shark, why don't you let Dibby Dip help with that? Okay. Um, Clark the Shark, let Dibby Dip help with that because you're you're gonna tear the box because it opens from the front. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. So what do we got here? Let's. We got a little. Let's thing. take a look. So we've got all sorts of treats. So it looks like we have another uh, variety of, uh, of goodies this time, some more savory and some sweeter, all of which, uh, or at least most of which, looks like they have uh, South Korean writing on it. And this time, uh, it looks like for the most part it says what they are in English as well, for those of us that uh, that need that assistance, which is everyone here in the cabin. Is this from the... That's just all the different treats, so we'll try some of those. So. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready to try some uh, some uh, more Yum Box favorites? Back. You guys? Nah, we'll start out with probably one of the savory items. You guys ready to start? Yeah. Oh yeah! All right, let's get this. Out. All right, here we go for our first item from South Korea. Uh, let me hand these over to Dibby Dip here, yeah, uh, and if you'll hold spicy. those up for us, and we'll spicy. we'll zoom in on those. It's a it's kind of a almost like in a potato chip bag. This is called. Um, this is called the Sweet and Spicy Wheat Snack. Uh, I'll see if I can pronounce it. Tiok Balki Snack. And if I make a mistake and, and one of our uh, viewers knows how to pronounce these things, feel free to post into in the... Uh, in a probe, so see. Let's pull this out a little bit and get those up there. Um, so Ooh. if anyone knows how to pronounce any of these things, just go ahead and post in the comments. We'd love to hear uh, if you know how to speak this. So again, these are... Uh, sweet and sour or sweet and spicy wheat snacks. Um, are they spicy, Clark the Shark? <laughs> There's a spicy response to that one. Not, not for Sosie. This isn't your jam, baby. What do you think, EJ? This is interesting. Interesting. I think this is amazing. Dibby Dip likes it's, it. Dude, it's I good. It. So it's in kind of a it's little circular, hot, almost like macaroni shaped thing, but it, in fact, it's uh, it's not at all macaroni of any kind. So, is this one cabin approved? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up for cabin approved or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. That's a dumb we're going to say that's a thumbs down for Sosi too. So, we're two and two here, it looks like. All right, let's 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 do the next item. We're moving on to something I believe a little sweeter on this one. Okay, but Ooh, it's I need a smaller pack. Okay, well, just one sec, Clark the Shark. Why don't you hang out here because this is going to clean out your mouth, this next item. Uh, this one, this next one is a choco pie. Chunko pie, choco pie. Uh, it could be interesting. This is a green tea choco pie, chocolate uh, coated green tea cake with marshmallow filling. So let me hand Dibby Dip a knife here. And if you'll cut a piece off for everyone over one of those plates there, Dibby Dip. Whoa. Is it spicy, Clark the Shark? Well, guess what? The, cho like the chocolate on this next thing will definitely help. It looks with like that. a big spicy. Oreo with no cream. Uh, hang in there. Maybe I better get a drink for us all. Whoa. 
that looks really good. I'm gonna grab a, a drink while Dibby Dip cuts this up. Okay, so ready to eat our green tea moon pies here. Kevin, kids, let's do it. Let's zoom in. Go ahead, let, yep. Let's zoom into the inside. I kind of did already, so go ahead and go ahead and give that a try. Mm. What do we think? Is that nummy, Sosie? It doesn't have a green tea taste. Doesn't it? It, it? it kind of does. So more chocolate than anything on that one? Than oh, green tea? That was the best. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Sosie, yeah. did you like that one? Is that nummy? It's very crummy though. <laughs> Silly baby. Dad, this Silly one the tasty. bestest one. So, so far out of the two things, that's that's your number one item there, Clark the Shark? Yeah. All right, good deal. For our next item, uh, it's uh, we'll hold this up here. This is called Pepero. It's almond Pepero. Like a pocky. Almond Pepero, and uh, this is a chocolate and almond coated biscuit stick. Uh, at 11, th listen to this you guys, at 11.11 many people stop to make a quick wish, but in South Korea the number signifies something a little different. Pepero Day. Every November 11th South Korea celebrates the holiday by, by giving loved ones these crunchy chocolate coated snacks. How did this quirky tradition start? Some p people point to a 1983 news story about two girls at a South Korean middle school who exchanged Pepero in hopes that the slim looking snack would make them become tall and thin. So they, uh, they wanted to be supermodels, apparently. I, I doubt this will do that for you, but uh, they look interesting. So it's like a cho chocolate dipped kind of uh, mm. uh, biscuit stick. So let's go ahead and taste that. What do you guys think? I know it's a thumbs up. That's a good meal. Is that one tasty? Jimmy Dib was saying something we'll like, like Pocky. Are we thumbs up on this one? Across the board, give me that cabin thumbs up, everyone. I, I get EJ's, all Clark the Sharks down. So she's down, finger up. Okay. I got, I got a mutual, um, I got a mutual. All right, should we move on to something really sweet? Oh, yeah. I am assuming it's really well sweet and sour, it looks like. This is called a strawberry sweet and sour. It's a sour strawberry flavored chew. Um, so this is, uh, this is, this is uh, very much like a, a candy we might, I think, might see here in the United States. Um, so this one has, uh, there's nothing, there's nothing controversial about a strawberry, right? Guess again. During the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, an athlete on Japan's female curling team was photographed eating one. When she described the strawberry as surprisingly delicious at a press conference, she reignited a decades old debate between Japan and South Korea. Japanese officials claimed the strawberries were rightfully theirs as they brought the first strawberries to South Korea, but South Koreans claimed they've worked hard to create a new blend of the Japanese varieties. So apparently that's a in international incident uh, to, to like a strawberry, I guess, in some situations between Japan and South Korea. So we're gonna open these up and give All them a try. Right, let's try these sweet and sour chews. Uh, Why we had the camera off and and uh, Dibby Dibby Dip was uh, unwrapping it. Clark the Shark ate his already. So Clark the Shark, what did you think? Was this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? You liked it. Is it a thumbs up, Toasty? Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, that's a, that's a thumbs up. Thumbs up for uh, for Dibby Dip that's and for EJ. Yeah. That's All right. Hot All right, let's try this one. This one is uh, looks all written in Korea. It is called a Chamsol Sengwa. It's a soy sauce flavored rice cracker. I'm not sure we're gonna get a lot of lovers on this one. I like soy sauce. I don't know how much you guys do. And so let's let's try this one out. Let's go ahead and have uh, Dibby Dip divide this out. Just break that out over those plates. I think there's two in that package there. Dibby Dip. So there's one for I each of you. You wanna try that, Sosie? This time uh, This game, hopefully it's yummy. Dad, I... Okay, here's yours. Luckily, All right, you guys go ahead and pop them in your mouth. Let's try this soy sauce flavored rice cracker. Not yet, right? Yep, well, go ahead. Hard. <laughs> Did you like that one, Sosie? Was that one icky? Or was that one yummy? She's back to the candy. That one's yummy, huh? You can eat that one. <laughs> what do you think, Clark the Shark? Mm, tastes a little bit like popcorn. Does it? What? What you? What's tastes the? Tastes like gunpowder. Doesn't. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting so amazingly. Clark the Shark's thumbs up on this one. What do you think, EJ? Oh gosh. Thumbs down. So gross. And I'm assuming Dibby Dip your thumbs down. Oh, that, Sosie's thumbs up. Girl. I think still for the sweet and sour candy. But uh, all right, this next one, you guys, is called a Coke Dasse White Tort. So hold that up there. This. Uh, is a little candy looking, th little chocolate bar looking thing. Hold on, I'm just gonna say, we have a problem. 
All right, go ahead and serve that out to them, Dibby Dip. Also, also. Um, this is a sweet biscuit with mar uh, with marzipan. I can't read. Look, mar marzipan cream filling. That pattern, though. Splitting didn't work too well. Just give me All right, let's try this one out. You're done with your rice cake. I'll Get put it over here the, in the garbage pile. The brown part of it. Mm. You don't like that, sir. Not a fan of that one, baby. Oh, is this the new one? Go ahead and taste that, you guys. Let's see what you think. Oh. No, I like that. Good. It's dry, but it's good. Yeah. So we like that one? So is that a thumbs up? It's a thumb sideways for you, Clark the Shark? Mm -hmm. So it's a thumbs up? We got some other yeah. thumbs up? All right, we're keeping it going. This is into the sweets. Keep keeping in the sweets here. This is, uh, I think, the coolest looking bag of all of them, personally. Looks like it's Let got zoom in on, that one. on it. It's got this cool little character on it. Um, definitely geared towards children, I would say. Uh, chocolatey in nature. Um, this is... This one is called the Cosmos Choco Corn. It's chocolate and coconut flavored corn pops. It looks like a Cheeto puff, but it's brown. It says, uh, the, it says no matter how much you love chocolate or don't, we guarantee that you've never tasted it quite like this. All right, so let's give this a try. This almost looks like Cheetos, Cheetos that are uh, cho uh, brown Cheetos, chocolate flavored yeah, Cheetos. Cheeto puffs. Did you like it, Sassy? Yeah. Did we get icky? <laughs> that one's that one's a thumbs down on the Sosa meter there, I think. Uh, Clark the shark oh, also thumbs down. Thumbs, thumbs up. What do you think? It's BJ? like it's really chocolatey. Yeah, Cho chocolate. Too chocolatey. Dibby dip. What's your take? Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, you like it. So yeah. thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. All right, here we go. This next one is a uh, cheddar cheese kettle chip, which I think sounds pretty dang good. <gasps> cheddar, Yum. cheddar cheese. Uh, Kettle chips are cheddar cheese flavored potato chips, basically, you guys. So I don't think we can go too wrong with that one. Unless he's got a real orange one. You don't want the chip? It's a chip, baby. She put it in her Do you mouth want the chip? a little bit and she's like... Go ahead and taste them when you get them. Once uh, Dibby Dip's giving you yours, put it in your mouth and taste it. Let's see what we think. Oh. That is tasty. That's tasty. So it almost looks like it, it is a kettle, like a kettle, kettle cooked chip, which is what the package even says too. Which uh, again, we have in America here as well. So this this seems like something we might get here in America, right? Based on yeah. what we're tasting, I think. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. That was so good. That Double thumbs, thumbs up. up. Should we go yeah. back to Sweetland here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try sweet. This is a victory pie. Crown blueberry victory pie is what this is. All right, uh, go ahead and serve that up there, Dibby Dip. I sure will. This was is chocolate covered cookie with blueberry jam filling. Ooh, this one sounds delicious. I love some some good blueberry jam. Mm, I don't really like blueberry jam. I do like jam. I just don't like blueberry. Daddy. They say that, that this is uh, extremely popular because of that blueberry jam that's in it. Um, so. That's I, the pizza I don't think you can almost ever go wrong also, with blueberry guys, jam. Did you know when I use a Magenex guys? Like yeah, we Legos. put Legos up on the stage today instead yeah. of the Magenex guys. Interesting. Changing it up a little bit. These Ooh. guys were crafting some Legos prior to our episode today. That does smell like blueberry. All right, give it a try. Let's let's taste this blueberry jam. Is that one nummy, Sosie? <laughs> Do you like that, baby? What about you, Clark the Shark? No, it's just clock sharks making a run for the bathroom. I'd say that's a, a, a heavy thumbs down. <laughs> so what are we, thumbs up or thumbs down, you guys? I think that's a thumbs up for you me. You know it, man, that's so good. Thumbs up, for, we have two thumbs up and I think it's two thumbs down. one of my favorites so far. Yeah. All right. Next up, we've got the Choco Hine. This is a chocolate and hazelnut cream filled wafer. Hazelnut's one of my favorite things in the world, so I would probably love this one. I don't know the cabin kids will, but let's give this Choco a try. We got a lot of Choco stuff in Heck here. Yeah. All right, Choco Hine. Oh, not boss. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's so, it's got a bunch of cream. Ooh. It's okay, look at that. 
clean, 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 ding, 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 ding. Oh, it's filled with, is that, yeah, it's chocolate. I did that for you to Oh! Okay, don't, let's not do that, so, maybe Sosie doesn't need her own plate. Dumping crumbs all over the stage. All right, go ahead and take a try of this hazelnut chocolate uh, cream filled wafer, you guys. Oh my god. Get nummy. That is so thumbs up. Bomb. Got lots of thumbs up. Yeah, it's so good. All right, let's prepare the next All snack. All right, on to our next snack. This is uh, a, another kind of interesting looking package, I think. We'll have a dippy dip hold that up a little bit dibby, there. Dibby, dibby. And it's a. Uh, so this one is gonna, I think, gonna be potentially another polarizing one. This is called the Hot Gang Jung Chicken Snack, sweet and spicy fried chicken flavored corn puff. This, there's a warning on here. It contains meat, so if you are a vegetarian, this would be a snack to avoid. Um, we don't have any vegetarians on stage here, so we will let the uh, cabin gang try these. These are. Uh, Sweet and spicy, like I said, sweet and spicy fried chicken flavored corn pot. AJ, will you pass that drink down? Your okay, car just shark's got a spice emergency. There's some hugs on the stage for quick mouth cooling. There's a slight bit of uh, spice to it. Yeah. Slight bit of spice. Do you taste? Do you taste like the chicken flavor like... to it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. So is that a thumbs up? Uh huh. That's our last savory item. So now we have a couple of candies left. Uh, we've got this little guy here. This is called a Tiju Tangerine Jelly. Tangerine's kind of like an orange flavor, so go ahead and open those up for us there. Uh, Dibby Dip, and we're gonna try these. I think Hug might be one of the most popular items on the stage here today. <laughs> oh, it's sticky. Is it oh, super sticky? Wow. I did not expect it to look Ooh, like... Oh, it looks interesting. Yes. Hold that up for the camera there, EJ. It's kind of like a light, very light yellow color. It's, it's very, very sticky. It's yellow. stuck to the plate. He's cutting you one there, Clark the Shark. All right, let's put this up. Yeah, put that off over there. All right, let's go ahead and try these. Sosie, Sosie, you want to try that? No? She's like immediately, nope, I'm good. I'm good, huh? All right, dig in. What do we think of these tangerine jellies? <laughs> Clock the shark. What's your reaction? What are you thinking? They got it in your pie. It tastes like an orange peel. Yeah. Oh. Tastes like an orange peel. So not necessarily good, because I'm not a lover of orange peel. I'm not a lover of orange peel. Clark Shark, is that a like thumbs the, down for you? But the peel of it. Is that a thumbs down for you? No, it's not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad. Just give me a thumb, a thumb down or a thumbs up. It's so gross. All right, so it's generally inside. thumbs sideways for Dibby Dip, but most everyone else seems thumbs down. So not a, not a winner for our palates here. This last thing here, you guys, is the Mamos Rice Candy. There's four little package candies. We'll let uh, you guys open those up. Dibby Dip will help with theirs. Um, and we'll try this last snack here. While we try this last snack, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the clue for the next month's snack. Ooh. And the next month's snack, here's the clue to this next, this next episode we're going to record. It says here, we're off to a country where magic is real, where the fiestas are lively and the coffee's ideal. There'll be tropical candies and bacon for your hungry mouth, so you better grab sunblock because we're headed south. There's something in it. Yes, well it says that this is a rice rice flavored hard candy. Maybe there's rice in it. Try that out. What did you guys, what do you think? Uh, rice flavored. I don't smell That is the best. Huh, it smells, it smells like rice to me. Does it taste like rice? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is something else, wow. It looks pretty cool. It's good. That's cool, it's good. Thumbs up on this one. Thumbs Give me your thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs Thumbs up around, even though Susie didn't try it. Clark the Shark, thumbs up. Where Sweet. So based on that clue, what do you guys think this next one's going to be for? It says again, we're off to a country where magic is real, where the fiestas are lively and the coffee's ideal. I'll tell you what that gives away for me. Certainly someplace in South America because it mentioned, co mentioned coffee. And I think, it also mentioned tropical. And I do think Colombia is a, uh, the biggest producer of coffee in the world. So uh, that's my vote. We're going to have to see where that one is, but that one seems Columbia. likely. Yep. Okay, now we need to determine what the favorite snack was. Let's see if there was any similarities of snacks. Uh, Clark the Shark, what was your favorite snack of all of them? Um, the end one. The rice candy? Interesting. That's an interesting choice. 
Sosa's, I think, was that strawberry sweet and sour thing. Don't we? Don't we think based on her reaction? What about you, EJ? Yeah. Uh, the chicken corn puffs. Chicken corn puffs. All right, Dibby Dip. Um, the blueberry biscuit thing. Ah, interesting. So we have a four-way break there. Everyone's kind of onto something different. I would normally have to break that, but I didn't try any of the snacks this time. I'll try them later off camera. The one, uh, f a few of them that I have something left. So. Um, I don't know which one's the favorite on that one, but suffice it was, as young boxes go, this young box one of the better ones, not as good for, for what you guys like, or what are you thinking? This Seems one. like maybe not as good based on some of the snacks. Yeah, but some of the snacks are excellent. Like that blueberry biscuit, maybe okay. my favorite thing ever. We've tried. Ah, it's interesting. So I mean, this one, is, this one had, this one had like most of them were pretty bad to me, but this one definitely had my favorite of all. I think the last one, the last box was so far the best. The best one? Mm -hmm. Sweet. And the last one was from, um, it was, yes, that was from Jerusalem. That was, that seemed good. So, the last all right. one was Israel. Was it? Oh yeah, it, it was Israel, the Israel Yum Box. That's right, that is right. So, um, you guys, we're going to do another video, another Yumbox video for our, uh, probably for our next video. Actually, we have another one coming here very shortly. So let's thank all of our cabin friends and we'll oh, talk to you guys later. Bye, cabin oh, friends. Oh, oh, oh.